Hello, Mioni here, and welcome back to another video for Fantasy Star Online 2 for the second channel. And uh, this time around, we got given quite a few gift cards. Uh, I did mention that essentially I didn't have access to purchasing on uh, the American Fantasy Star Online 2 store via the Windows Store because I was from the EU, and a few of my friends pitched in to basically get some cards together, and uh, one friend in particular. And we're going to basically see what we can get from the scratch card. So that's pretty much all this video is going to be about. Just a fairly short video. Just sort of seeing what you get for your money. So let's log in to uh, my main character here. As far as I know, you can store some of this stuff. Nothing's like bound to a character. Obviously, the restrictions of female and male and class restrictions still apply. But beyond that, I believe it's pretty much down to anything else. Uh, get rid of all this crap. Now, there is apparently a way of fixing the lag in the general area. Yeah, can we just... I don't care. Let's just go to the, sh uh, to the ship. Uh, yeah, there is apparently a way of fixing the lag in the lobby, um, which involves the use of third-party tool. Uh, I'm not using that specifically because I don't believe that I should have to. I might end up downloading it in the future, but for now we are just going with what we've got. So we are, of course, going to be spending some money. Or at least uh, we're going to be spending the credits that we have. As you can see, the Check Ace... Out our new stock! Wow, that's annoying. The AC shop is essentially allowing you to purchase things... Uh, basically, one AC is roughly a, a dollar. I think that's how they're going with. But the way you get all of the cosmetics, apart from the Fresh Finds uh, shop, which seems to be like daily items that are here and you can purchase them with these um, SG, the, those gems, right? Which is, includes bridal attires and wedding outfits for male and female characters. Like a black one. Again, I don't seem to know how to preview this stuff. It just asked me if I want to uh, to actually purchase it. But you can get these directly, those uh, SG, from just playing the game normally, I believe. So you can get a lot of the stuff from that fresh picks uh, legitimately in the game. It might take you a while to earn that, though. Or you can exchange real life currency, which is what we've got today, for those star gems. That's what SG stands for. We're not going to be doing that. Like I say, we're going to be putting this into the gacha system, which is, of course, the scratch tickets. Now, we do actually have several different uh, scratch tickets to go on. We have the Oracle Celebrations, which is... Ooh, let, well, let's show you the, the prize list of this stuff. Uh, you know, we've got underwear, probably not the best example here. It's kind of cool stuff, but it's not anything too amazing for me personally. There's a few really nice items, like there's the wagging tail, if you could see it, where you have literally a wagging tail on your character, which is kind of entertaining. But of course, there's, there's an axe in the way at the moment. Um, but what I was thinking of doing was probably either putting it into this one, which is the Virtual Stars one, which is for Hatsune Miku, uh, because I mostly wanted her outfit, or I was going to put it into Dark Omen. Well, I believe that we should probably do both. So as you can see, if you click on this, you can get 12 scratch tickets with 2,200 AC. We have 7,950 AC, so let's do uh, 12 of each, and then we'll decide afterwards which one we want to go for. So first of all, let's scratch off 12 virtual star tickets. I've never done this before, um, and it is kind, kind of painful. Uh, to actually spend real money on this game. But again, this is all we're going to be doing. We're only going to be spending this balance. And then we're never spending another dollar on this game ever again. I thought it was, you know, prudent to actually do it. To try it out and give you some consumer advice. So as you can see, you get a 12 uh, bundle of AC Virtual Stars scratch cards for 2200 AC. Um, if you spin five more times, you get a Salon free pass. So that might be the thing we get with that. So let's get that. And this is what the scratch card looks like for Hatsune Miku. So obviously we have these three boxes here. I believe this one... Uh, wow. Okay. Obtained 110 fun. So we have a... Ah. The layered top 
the beaked mask gold, and the rowlock legs. Hardened emotions e. Elemental transition lights. Premium cargo pants. Heart effector. Corpse hood F. That looks quite good actually. Painted tank top shadow. Shadow in painted tank top again. Uh, hardened emotions ruby. Cresslow body. And we got the salon free pass there as a bonus. We also got a augmentation aid. So that's what we got. So basically you don't get to scratch them off yourself. Um, if you buy a bulk of them, it does it for you. So we got some interesting things, but nothing that I really wanted, which was to be expected, right? We didn't expect to get anything interesting. Interestingly enough, though, the Cresslow body is for uh, a race that's not my own. The Rowlock eggs, uh, legs rather, not eggs, are the same. But we got some hoods and stuff that we can mess around with. But we'll have a look at what this stuff looks like later on. It's not too bad, but uh, I didn't get what I wanted, obviously. Then we got our free pass for the salon and an augmentation aid plus 30%. Uh, so we're not going to buy another 12 of those at the moment. Let's do the Dark Omen ones. The reason I wanted to do a Dark Omen was because if I see somewhere down here... Where is it? Oh, I can't find it now. Here you go. Wings of Darkness. Look at those. Those are beautiful. That's what I wanted to get. I know the axe is clipping through that. That's not something we have to worry about we can hide that later on anyway uh but 0 0.3333 percent chance of getting that um let's go for it then 12 scratch tickets okay here we go what happens if we choose one of the other options i don't get that it's three things why do we get fun whoa Oh, we're carrying the maximum amounts of things. The item was moved to storage. So we've got a mini doll F, whatever that is. Mag support expansion kit. An affix augment for health and PP. Great enhancement success, 100%. Riddell mini doll F ruby. Exa Exagia legs. Pink long boots leaf. Oh my god. Black feather. Is that literally a feather? An Evil Amalti, Riddell Mini Doll F, whatever that is, Steel Mini Doll. We got a Salon Free Pass. Elegant Wings? Is that something that we just got? Uh, what do Elegant Wings do? I'm curious, are those actual wings for our character or what? Okay. So we're at the precipice now where we have 3,500 left. So we can afford essentially 12 more scratch tickets. And I kind of want to go for the Dark Omen ones. Even though technically we got more outfits from the Virtual Star one. Yeah, we're going for Dark Omen. Oh, either because there is not enough room in your inventory or because the number of AC scratch tickets you own is at capacity. That'll be our inventory then. Let's sort that out. Let's put some stuff into storage. Great opportunity to do so. So, this stuff went into our inventory, didn't it? So the best thing to do would be to... Well, A, first of all, we need to get rid of a couple of bits of trash. There we go. So, we've got the Hardened Emotions. Ooh. Again, we can't actually equip that. Um, let's put that in the storage thingy. What does this look like, then? Did we get to see this? A heart effector? Uh, aha! Heart effector. A live concert will begin in the shopping plaza momentarily. Ooh, a live concert. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Actually, that's not a bad nice. That's not a bad uh, piece of armor, actually. I quite like that. It's changed the uh, leg thingies as well and the arm thingies. I'm not sure about the green. All right. What else have we got? Riddell Minidol F O U, which is quite a nice robe, actually. Wow, I quite like that. It goes with my character, the white and the black stripe down the center there. Quite nice. What else we got? We got a corpse hood. <laughs> Whatever that is. Come on, load, please. Oh wow. 
Oh, wow. So it's like gothic Lolita stuff, but again, the green is kind of... Ugh. Not sure why our pants are exposed there, but... This is what it is, I suppose. I suppose we like pants. I quite like that one, though. I'll be honest. We'll equip this for now. Um, There we go. I do like that. That's probably the best thing we've got so far. So if that's the only costumey bits, then, that we've got... I mean, we got these Rolock legs for casts, male. We can't equip those. The Creslo body, again, for cast, female. There's a lot of incentivization to actually get an alt or numerous alts. We put some of this stuff in the storage. Uh, did we get anything from here? We got, yes, we got hardened emotions, a male innerware. Oh, I see. Uh, that's for male characters. We don't need that, so we'll put that in storage. Oh, we got a few of those. We got two of those. Premium cargo pants, again, for male characters. I kind of think that it's a bit crap that you get male outfits if you uh, open scratch cards on a female character, but I presume that's just primarily because they're trying to get you to... Uh, yeah, to make alts. So we actually have a beaked mask, a gold one. Um, let's use that. Once you use this ticket, you'll be able to select it with all characters. So that makes it available in the salon, so it's going to be like a plague mask. Interesting, what's this? That is base wear. Use it to become accessible in the salon and a layered tank top. That's quite nice, actually, as well. So we did get a salon ticket, so we could check that out. Uh, no discs with no furnishing items. This is stuff I had before. I don't know what that does. Evolves into kitten. Evolution device. The device allows you to evolve the form of a mag that's reached level 100 or above. Evolves into a kitten. Interesting. Well, let's put that in storage. That looks like a, a fun thing to explore. Changes elements to light. So we actually got a lot of cosmetic sort of like consumable stuff that I'm not that bothered about in those. Interesting. All right, then. Well, let's get our last 12 tickets. Uh, we did say we wanted to put them into Dark Omen. Um, virtual Stars or Dark Omen? Virtual Stars or Dark Omen? How am I going to possibly decide... Uh, Rose. No, don't just decide for me. Virtual stars are dark omen. Oh, really? Okay. Virtual stars it is. Let's uh, get those then. I don't know what the difference is between why the gold one, when you click on it, you get fun points and the others you don't. I'm going to get it anyway. I want my fun points. Go on in. Give me some goodies. We got a Creslo body. Damaged jeans. Brilliant. Preslo arms. So more robot stuff. Diva poster. So we've got Hatsune Miku poster for a house. Another poster for a house. A corpse hood M. So a male painted tank top. Evolution device Miku Dio. Ooh. Damaged jeans again. A painted tank top. A bikini for a dancer. A male frigging hooded outfit again. And a tri-boost 150%, which is actually pretty useful for leveling and an augmentation aid. Honestly, the posters were the best thing there. Everything else is kind of garbage. This evolution device Miku Dio, though, is that going to make like a little miniature Miku? I quite like the idea of that. Okay, so we have 1,350 of these coins left. I'm determined to spend them up. So why don't we just get some Dark Omen stuff then? And uh, the 200 each. I mean, let's just do that. So this is the stuff, like I say, that you can get uh, the, the wings from that I wanted. It, we got uh, Exceda Sky, whatever that is. So it's going to let us keep purchasing one, what we got from this one. Two-Tone Corsage. Ooh. I'm interested to see what that will be. Natural makeup C and a tri boost 150. We're running out of points here. 
A blue butterfly, I believe that's like a helm thingy. Piece of glamour. Uh, Exceder Hazel, whatever that is. And I believe this is the last one. Let's go for this instead. A tail cut dress C. Right. We actually have some fun ones as well to use. Let us use those. Okay. What do we get? A safe enhancer, whatever that is. You won pirate, white. What? A blossom sticker set. And a flower wrist. Ah. Oh. Well then, let's have a look at our garbage, shall we? So, uh, corpse hood for male characters, basically the same one twice there. Lovely. Um, I'm sure my male alts will be proud to have that crap. Cresslo body, cast females, yay. Female robot arms. I could make a really good looking robot, actually. That's, uh, that might be a thing we have to do then. Oh, the corsage is nice, actually. So it appears in the salon. So what I've got you doing here is you get items, but you need to use a salon ticket to actually um, to change your stuff. So if you didn't have a ticket, you'd have to buy another bloody ticket to access the salon. That's kind of crap. Uh, some jeans that we can learn. Some brown jeans. More stuff that's usable by male characters only. I mean, the bikini might be fun. That's all I could say at this point. Two of the same poster. I mean, did they have to be the same poster? I think there's like six posters I could have got. For goodness sake. Uh, evolution device Mikidayo. So what does it actually do then? I need, I need to research into that. If it's like a Miku minion, then I'm actually quite happy. If it's not, then... Yeah. So basically the only thing I've got from that that I actually want to wear is this really nice sort of like long coat. I do like that coat actually. But was it worth what may or may not have been a significant amount of money? No, not at all. So what other things could you have done with that money that would have actually been beneficial? Well, actually, you could have done quite a bit. Welcome to my place. Shut up, anime character. On here, you'll see that you can actually extend the storage and your inventory space. It's quite expensive. As you see, character storage expansion, 800. I could have got 50, I could get a few, I could, could have got a few hundred extra slots of storage, but I wanted to get cosmetic items. I got a little bit shafted. So anyway, I wanted to make this video to show what it's like. This is just my RNG. You could basically go in there and get Miku's outfit off of the first lockbox. But you're not going to, are you? If you consider that I spent over 5,000 AC and you check the price of that on the uh, Microsoft Store, then you'll realize that this is an enormous waste of time. And that's all I have to say on the matter. Either way, it was for science. It's expendable. Like I say, no more money is ever being spent on this game. I am going completely free to play. That's why I didn't buy a premium pass or anything. I don't want to get like lulled into the security of having extra experience and stuff. I want to actually enjoy the grind in this game and I am actually enjoying it. But the cash shop is a complete garbage pile. I think you'll agree. Thank you kindly for watching. And I'll, uh, and I'll indeed see you all next time. Sorry, I'm a bit tongue-tied after being shafted so hard. Goodbye. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Because I won't.